tariffs and bolting scheme, we see firsthand the really positive impact that it makes. And it's been absolutely lovely to sit next to uh, Paul, who is uh, a beneficiary of, of the scheme. But it, it's actually not because she was nominated. It was because her hearing dog was nominated. <laughs> and the dog was under the table, and the dog had a lovely time down in Devon with Paul. So, so it's not just about people, it's about everybody that makes a difference, and so it's a lovely, a lovely story. But I, I think I speak probably for all of the charities in the room here, and that we all make a big difference to the people that we're funded to support. But actually the sad thing is when we think about it, it's not the suits in the head offices that make a difference, it's the people on the front line, it's the volunteers, it's the support workers, it's the carers, that day in, day out are going above and way beyond what we can reasonably expect them to do. Really making a difference to people's lives, whether that's young autistic children, whether it's the elderly, whether it's disabled people, making a real difference to people's lives because they care, they're passionate. As I say, they work hours on end doing that for very little reward of themselves. And for us as charities, we'd love to do more to thank them for that, but we just can't do it. Times are tight, we were aware of you know, what the environment's like, what the landscape's like at the moment. And so when I first heard about the Winter Award and met Adam and Rosie, um, you, in your head you think, this just sounds too good to be true, and that thing that you're taught, if it sounds to be too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, well, it isn't, it isn't like that, it is just great. I mean, it's, um, I was really keen for our organisation to sign up to it. We had you know, one of our first support workers who works in one of our schools, um, Lady Allison, who supports a young man with autism. And we encourage people to nominate people from within the organisation for one of the rooms of the awards. And the great stack of nominations you get gives you a great pile of case studies of just the fantastic work you're doing as an organisation. And we encourage our staff forum, which is made up of frontline support workers, to choose the people that we think are worthy to be put forward. And then when Alison would receive her award, uh, was in a school assembly, she was completely unaware of it. And the young lad that she supports came up on stage and gave this to say thank you for everything that she'd done for him. And passed it to her. It was a really emotional day at school. And it wasn't, it wasn't just contained within that particular event, because there was a ripple effect throughout the charity that people heard about and thought, oh, this is fantastic that we're acknowledging and recognising this. And of course, we've got others now in the pipe who are keen to do this, and we're encouraging people just to recognise their colleagues and the impact that they make, and the people in, and the work that they do. And from us, we're able to do something that without the support of Root Award, we wouldn't be able to do. So, from my point of view, I would encourage all the charities in this room to take it on. It really is, I mean, from a Latin point of view, it's really straightforward, it's really easy. Um, Rosie and Adam done a fantastic job, you know, setting that all up. Nominate people, you get some great stories from your own organisation, and you really do make a positive difference to the lives of the people who are providing that support, which isn't something that we can often, we can often say. So I just want to thank you know, everyone associated with the scheme. I mean, Nick, it's a great idea, um, but everyone is associated with it. And for you in the hospitality industry for making those rooms available, you will never know the impact and positive difference you're making with this offering up one of your rooms to do that. It really makes a massive difference. So thank you very much for that. Thank you.